Hello YouTube and welcome to our 28th Unity tutorial, so we're getting even closer now. And recommended by the user CEM666 if I remember, sorry if I got your name wrong, I can't remember. But he wanted to know how to do interiors, so I thought that was a great chance to show you something new, some new code, some new features you probably didn't know about. Because if you're watching this tutorial, you probably didn't know about it anyway. But yeah, so um, what I was thinking is we need a way to have a door, and usually there are mainly three types of doors. There is a way you can walk straight through the door, the door will move and you'll instantly be in. There is um, no doors at all, but we want doors. Um, or there's some kind of operating device that switches from levels, so that can be teleportation devices, arrows, just touching the door. Or like in this game here, GTA San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto. And as you can see, there is a yellow arrow, and every enteral building has this yellow arrow. And if you hit this yellow arrow, it takes you inside the building. So that's its teleportation device. So instead of having all the interiors, everything built into one scene, which can make your computer lag a lot, um, you use different scenes. So you like, use a scene for your whole world, then use a scene for all your interiors and just spawn it in the right place. So I'm going to try and replicate this arrow, but a bit differently. So I did some searching and got this arrow. So it's a bit different. Um, and so what I'm going to do is download that. That's in the description as well if you want the same. And I've put it in here. Building arrows. There we go. Black background, but don't worry about that. Um, so I'm going to create a new game. I'd, well, actually, I'm going to choose a building first. Because we are, we've got quite a few. We've got the temple. We've got the text building. We've got that. And we've got the cabin. So I think I'm just going to do it for the cabin now. Because it's the most realistic one. So I'm going to somehow get to this. Like so. And I want to be able to put this arrow in front of this door here. So what I'm going to do is just click the door and hopefully select it. There we go. And I'm going to go game object, create other, capsule. The reason we selected the door is because then it will give us the capsule right next to it. And it's a lot more helpful. Where is this? Come here. And up. There we go. But we want it to be as big as the door, so zoom in and scale it. Mm, that'll about do. Now what we're going to do is flatten it backwards, so as you can see it's a round of the thing at the moment, but we don't want it to be round. So if you drag your arrow on, you can see it's got arrows all the way, it's not that good. So what we're going to do is just squash it so it looks like a real arrow, but we're going to obviously squash it in the right place. So if I believe it would be this way. No, it wouldn't be this way. Wait, which way is it? We're going to rotate it so it's nothing. Basically, you need to find a perfect place to flatten it. Hmm. Okay, so we'll do that in a minute because that doesn't want to work apparently. And um, what we're going to do is go to our building arrow and get rid of this black. So we're just going to click the material where it says diffuse. Wait for it to load. Mm. Come on, load faster. There we go. And then I'm going to, well you can't see it, but I'm going to go all the way down to transparent and choose bump diffuse like we always do. As you can see we now have a blank one. And I don't know why it's been like that. Tiling, maybe. We're going to keep the Y at zero, 1 and just keep the tiling at 2. And then we can squash it down. There we go, we now have a floating arrow. Looks better than nothing. So if we click off it, we have an arrow, a very rounded one. But it's better than nothing. We're going to keep the capsule collider on it, but we're going to turn it to a trigger. So, like our other items, if we hit it, it'll trigger it and move it so because we're going to use our collection script to activate it so we're not creating a brand new script which is unnecessary the collection scripts already attached all we need to do is just add things to it so that's there that'll do so what I want I really want it to bounce but I'm not sure if that script will work so what I'm just gonna do is just attach it anyway so I'm gonna scroll up our here and let's go to our scripts items item bounce and drag it on so that will make it bounce hopefully up and down like it does. Um, so that's that done. Um, now that we've done that, we need to create a 
prefab for it so we can transport it between levels easier because see this is going to be used a lot but before we do we're going to rename it yes and i'm just going to call this cabin hmm what to call it cabin enter that'll do like so i believe that's right yeah just yeah call it whatever you want um so i'm going to drag that inside the cabin so it's in the right place this one the cabin and drag it in click so now it's part of the cabin which is what we want so I'm going to make a new prefab here, um, prefab, and call this door arrow. Yep, and drag the cabin enter in. It'll rename it to door arrow, but it will store everything for us. So that's all good. So now that we've done that, we need to open our collection script, which is around here. Collection, there we go. And now, as you can see, we've based already got it all set out. If it triggers, enters, hits this, do this, which is right. But what we're going to do is also put our interiors here. So what I'm going to do is just above this, I'm going to notice this line out. And if you press shift and the hash key, I think it's the hash, you'll create these wiggly squirrely things, which I usually do. I'm just going to put it up to there, take a couple of them out, and write in here, items. So when you're scrolling down all these codes, because this code's going to get big, you get to see items right out, everything underneath items. You scroll down, write everything under there's inventory or whatever. Yeah. So I'm just going to press enter like three times. And on the fourth line, I'm just going to paste this in. Like that. I'm going to change these items to interior enter. There we go. So and get rid of the You don't have to be spot on with this, but it's just so you can scroll down easier. So everything under here is the when we enter interiors. So like the door what we're making now and then like a couple of lines down I'm just gonna create another one and call it interior exit leave yeah because then when we're in the buildings we want a way to leave as well so in this enter I'm just gonna write basically the same as this so I'm just gonna may as well copy that like so yep and then here I am going to write if Carl equals so we need the name of it Oops, and stop still. So we need the cabin, which is here. We need the name of it, which is cabin enter, which is good. So we put it in here. If it equals cabin enter, which it does, then now here's the new code, what we need to learn. Basically, we need to write application, location, there we go. So basically, that uses the Unity engine. Then we need dot load level, capital, excuse me, capitals. And basically, so that goes to the function in Unity itself to load a different level. Then we will want to load, so we put brackets, speech marks, brackets, close it off. So we need an, our new level in here. So we'll just rename it to interiors, yeah, because that's what our level is going to be called anyway. So interior, and that's it. That's all we have to do to be able to change levels. So it's really simple. So it, below interior leave, I'm going to do the exact same thing. But here I'm going to write cabin leave exit. We'll just call it exit. Why not? And here we want to load level one and make sure you put underscore because spaces can sometimes mess up. But because we put an underscore now, um, we haven't actually done it on the other one on the actual level here. So we need to just quickly rename it. So, and if anyone wants to know how I rename really quickly, I just press F2, not F and 2, just F2 key function two yeah so now that we've done that we need to create our new level so this is really simple to do you go file new scene done so that's pretty much it so now you build your interior scene so we want game object create other and we'll create a cube for a basic floor and for the x i think i'll make it around 20 oops not two 20 and about 0 0.1 then 20 again so it's 20 wide, 20 things. So we've got a biggish floor. I'm going to move the position to 0, 0, 0 so it's in the center of the world. And here we go. So now what we're going to do is create another cube on top of this. And for the scale for the walls, I'm just going to do it around 0 0.5. So it's not that thick. 55. Ooh, that's a bit big. That's too big. We don't want it 55. Hmm. Delete that and we'll just copy this. Duplicate. We're basically just trying to make some walls at the moment. So you may as well just customize this scene. Duplicate. Uh, 
20, 0.5, that'll do. Drag it out, duplicate, drag it out. So that these two duplicate and rotate the y axis to 90, move it into the right position. And the final one, 90, and move it into the right position. Hopefully, four walls, which are massively big, which we do not need. We don't need big walls, so we'll change the height to about five. I believe that's big enough. What you really want to do is drag your character in so we can get a good view. So save this level in your levels as what we called it, which was interiors. I can't spell that to in my life. Um, how to spell it? I N T E R I O R. There we go, interior. So we'll save it in there, so that's saved, so we can jump back to level 1 now. And boom, there we go. So we are going to go to our character, and we're going to go to the prefab, and as you can see we already have a prefab, but I don't know if we should delete that one yet. So we're just going to create a new prefab in here. Create prefab and call it character, like so. And drag our character in there, so our fully updated character, character 1. Okay, I've already got one. I'm just going to drag it into character then. Basically, make a new prefab, drag it in. So, we've got that. And as you can see, he's got a big blob around him. Which is, which will hopefully disappear. Yes, it does disappear. Good. So, now what we need to do is also drag one for our main camera. Which, again, I already have. So, drag it into your main camera to update it. Boom. And the door arrow we've already done. So, now we can jump back to the interior level. Save, yep. Typically. And what we're going to do is just select the floor and just rename this to cabin floor. Just we'll rename it to cabin. Drag all cubes in there. There we go. We're going to drag the main camera close ish. And as you can see, we've got no light, so we need a light. So we're going to go game object, create other point light. I'm going to move it into roughly the middle. And we'll give make the range around 20. There we go. We can just about see everything now. So what we're going to do is drag our character on. Plop. Make him up a bit. So he'll drop. What's his height like? Ooh. It's a bit small. So we need to rearrange all these walls. Higher. So the height so far is 50 apparently. So change the height to 55. Drag it up. There we go, he's above the wall now, which is good. So, what we're going to do is drag him forward so he's not touching the door, because I want the door to be around here. And what we're going to do then is drag our main camera on, so it's in the right place. Boom. Is that the right one? Well, the water camera's disabled, I know that. So we disable that. The main camera's there. And we can delete this camera here, because we don't need that one. So we've got our main camera, which is nowhere to be seen come back there we go so now we have a water camera as well as that one so it needs a new target which is our character so drag our character on and now what we're going to do is drag our door arrow on and it's here and it's upside down cool great helpful so what I'm going to do is zero 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 there we go hopefully it's in the right place now there we go so go to this view, zoom in, make sure it's up off the ground but not touching him. And drag him back a bit. Now that's it. So if we hit that, it moment it won't do anything because it's not called properly. So we're just going to rename this to cabin exit, which we called it in the script. So that's good enough. Now that we've done that, what we are going to do is go back to our other level, level 1. And now what you need to do is diff tell Unity that you have two different levels. Because at the moment, they're just scenes. It doesn't know what order to load the scenes in or to what to do anything. So what we're going to do is go to Edit, then, okay, File, and then Build Settings. As you can see, it's already loaded mine, but yours will be like that, level 1, which is good. Um, so what this basically is, is when you export it, it's called Building. 
and you can choose what platform you want it on. If you've got the free version like me, you can only export to web player and PC and Mac. But if you bought it, you could probably export to all these and like make Xbox games and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to keep it to this one. Um, and scenes in the build means which scenes are going to be exported. So you want level 1 and then you want your interior after it. In fact, we'll put it before it. Because you, you want to spawn in your house then go to your level 1, which is right. So the numbers at the beginning, at the end, basically mean what order it's going to be loaded in. It's top to bottom usually, so... Um, now that's done, we can test it. So if, to say, well, yeah, we'll just walk up there. Let's try it. Fingers crossed, this should work. Right, and also I've also got the correct numbers for the hoods in a minute, which we'll put on in a minute because I forgot to do that earlier. And we'll just keep walking up here, and hopefully get there soon. And uh, there, uh, as you can see, the bouncing thing didn't work very well. But anyway, so we hit this, and it should teleport us. There we go. So we're getting errors because, don't we, about that. But Oh, the door's disappeared. Come back. No. Okay, so we can't get back, apparently, because the bouncing messed up. Oops. So what we're going to do is jump back to interior and our cabin exit and just get rid of this item bounce. Just from this one, because the other one worked, this one done. So now we can try again from in here. And turn around. We get errors, don't we, about them. But hit this. Boom. And we spawn again. So that's it. So now we have working interiors. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to make loading screens. Because as you noticed, there was a lag there when it was skipping. Loading screens will pop up. We'll do some fun, add some, lo some loading screens, have some fun with that. Um, before we go, I'm just going to add the new digits. What I actually found out was 950 for my monitor size and 407. So now if we try this on full screen, it should adjust it to the exact right positions. There we go. Top. Change it again. Free aspect. It will go to the top again. Top. There we go. So now we, I have working at It is all about the positioning, so you make sure you get it right. There we go. So that's it for the, this tutorial. Please use the voting system below because it will be going off so shortly. Five tutorials are nearly up. Um, so thanks for watching. Please like, comment. If you've got any suggestions, post it below. Thanks to the guy who, or girl, I don't know who posted this. But big help and see you soon.